Hey guys, we're looking into World of IQ Mission 5. Um, we've solved 4 until now, so let's look into the new one. So directly we're gonna head into maps. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 is done. This is the 5th one. 5th one has 2 machines. Uh, one is 5B, the Hunger Game one. The other one is 5B, Crink and b -way. So Let's look into it. Let's see what it can offer. Right, so the message is done. So great. Uh, okay, just a normal message. We have resource reduction help with the manual pages. OJ global supply 48 percent of daily food and water intake. Uh, a malfunction in their internal supply chain and scheduling would mean a complete halt on delivery routes within minutes. Probably in this machine we have to do something with OGI. Uh, this is obvious the feminine horseman virus is at work here. Okay, so we have to see um, if we can ping the OGI side. Let's look into the notes. Let's see if Rascal has anything related to OGI. OGI, where is it? Okay, OGI IP. So we have the OGI IP. Let's ping 191.192.1.16. Uh, we are able to ping it. I also wanted to create a new notes and uh, you know save everything in new notes. Uh, M5 um, 5A. All right. So let that be. Um, so we have to use curl to look for data. We have to use John for some reason. It's just to log into LAN. All right. Uh, since we know that uh, you know this particular IP is 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 active. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to run an nmap scan and see what ports are open. So running an nmap scan, we can see port 80 is open, 443 is open, both are HTTP, HTTPS, probably some sort of a web server is running. Port 22 is open, which is SSH. So let's go ahead and see what is running in the, um, you know, either HTTP or HTTPS. Um, call HT oh, does HTTPS work? Um, dash K for uh, okay, so HTTP does work. So, is it the same result when we do it in HTTP? Yeah, it is the same result when we do it in HTTP. So, we see some data catalyst.com slash about dash uh, dot HTML. There's a href tag, another href tag talks about catalyst.com slash uh, service dot HTML. And I'm looking into if there's anything else apart from it. I don't think so. So let's go ahead and uh, call that. First, ping it to, to see what IP it is. Catalyst.com. Uh, it is 191.192.1.151. So let's go ahead and do a slash about.html. Let's call that. And uh, we don't really get a lot. So let's do services.html. Cat is one of the most feared dealers on the grid. He can get into almost any system, take over any server given enough time and information. So mostly Catalyst seems to be like an APT. APT is Advanced Persistent Threat. Um, if you Google APTs, you'll find a bunch of APTs um, that does this kind of a job, right? Who, who given enough time and resource, they would break into any network. Catalyst is probably one of the APTs. So bet credit, I think this is the same IP address that uh, we have earlier looked into. I think it, it's very, very similar. Um, I don't know if we've uh, looked at it earlier, but it looks very similar. So bet credit listed on this IP address. Maybe let's, um, you know, scan that IP address and see uh, what is running in that IP address. And map, uh, port 22 is open. Probably has this age. I also wanted to see if I can uh, curl that IP address. However, I don't think it's going to return any results because, uh, um, you know, uh, because I don't see a web server running in port 80. So yeah, that doesn't return any results as you can see. Uh, only port 22 is open. Um, device name is admin. Um, it's running SSH. All right. Uh, we'll see if any useful data is there. So let's see. Server.html, index.html, about.html, and then bit credit will be stored on this IP address. All right. Credential cracking, so on and so forth. 
So what do we um, do? Look uh, for data. Are we calling the correct, uh, you know, IP address? So OGI is one one six. Oh, I did one one zero. That's bad. One one six. Okay, that was my bad. So one one six. Here uh, we have this particular address. So let's do curl. Um, let me copy paste that. Copy that and paste it. Okay, we got some information there. We've successfully logged into a different server. This is uh, okay. What server? OGA mail server. We logged into an OGA mail server. Um, let's look what is inside OGA mail server. Let's go into home. Let's list everything. We have two different directories. Let's move into this directory and see what is there. There is a directory called mail dir. Let's move into that. Let's see what is inside inbox. Nothing. What is inside send? It says confirm FTP credentials. Let's take a note of that. Um, so this is OJ mail serve. And inside OJ mail serve, we have. Uh, okay, let's copy paste the path. Paste it. And this has. This has that file. So let's list uh, spam, nothing in spam, trash, nothing in trash. So let's move into send and let's read the file. Okay, that one gives us some sort of an information. It says a username and password, IP address. Probably we'll have to log into that. So let's um, you know, save that. Um, local path to store downloaded log is this. So let's also go ahead and uh, save that in our notes. But this is something that we have to look into, right? Let's go back and let's look into this particular directory OGI sys admin. Uh, nothing there. So let's go back. Go back. Nothing. So all we have left is to log into this machine and see what we get there. Um, first, let's run it in map scan to see what port is running. So we see port 22 running. So let's see if we can log into SSH. OGI transfer at 191.192.1.98. Canopia, so we've logged in. Perfect, we logged into this machine. I wonder if we can find username and password to get in the main servers behind the firewall. So arguably we have to get into a main server. We have to find the username and password. And then we have a bunch of directories all starting with OK. So let's go ahead and see what we can you know, uh, find in this directories. So let's go ahead and do OK. List everything in marketing. Um, M-A-R, K, marketing. OK. And let's do okay QA. Come on. Okay. Rain drone. All right, I will remove the quotations. Okay, synth path. Okay. Remote. Okay, GCG greens. Hmm, for some reason it's not uh, listing. So let's actually try and move into one of this directory. Let's move to the tokens. Let's see, we have two different directories. Let's move into temp. Uh, we have few files. Issued cred star XML. Okay, so we basically have a file that contains something called credentials and uh, I'm just going to copy all of this, right? 
so let's okay uh, we have all that in the notes rascal has taken notes of that that's good um, what does it say hashed means the original text is modified into eligible shortened text but good thing we have a tool that can decrypt it so what this exactly means is whatever information that we find here this is the username this is technically the password so this is a hashed form of a password password hash so if we can decrypt this um, we can find the password right so that's what uh, they are telling us john is a tool that is used to do it similar to the john there are multiple other tools there is a tool called hashcat uh, and then there are a plethora of tools that does this kind of job um, there's also something called rainbow crack which uh, is something different but it does the same job um, but yeah so those are something that you can check out anyway they are asking us to crack the password to see if you can log into any machine First, you have to create a new file using echo password hash into a new file mm -hmm. where password hash is something that looks like this. You get to choose the file name. I think password.txt sounds good for now. So we can take this information essentially and we can do something like echo and uh, redirect that. Oh my God, this uh, Steam notification. Okay, anyway. We can redirect that. Okay, change the view. Okay, that looks fine. We can redirect that and uh, save it to um, passfile.txt. So there is there should be a new file called passfile. Okay, passfile.txt, right? So if you wanted to crack that password, all I have to do is type John passfile.txt john will try and crack it so john has uh, found the password for this user which is supposedly that and uh, what does this tell us um, uh, let's also go ahead and uh, crack the rest of the passwords so i wanted to uh, okay let's go ahead and crack this password Call that asphalt pool or txt. Asphalt pool or txt. No passwords found. Let's do the next one. Okay, this one we've already done it. So we've already done it. Uh, we've cracked. Okay, we. Oh, what did we crack now? The one that starts the MY, we've done that. So let's do this. Let's call it PF3. John PF3. It has cracked to another password. And let's crack this one. Control C. Let's do PF4. John PF4 has cracked another password. And let's go into the next one. I think the scrolling sucks in this for some weird reason. What password is to crack the one that starts with N. This done, this is done. All this is done, I believe. Okay, what do we have to do? Password has this. Okay. Um, you can also just uh, given just, uh, you know, the hash value alone, something like this. Let's call it file x dot txt. File x dot txt. 
and then now it says we've cracked it so because we didn't follow what it said it said i mean it, it did not recognize that we completed the task however you don't typically have to save only this data you can also include the username that's going to give you crack the password as well so anyway we've done that uh, for multiple users now let's go ahead and see what we should now do now uh, we've decoded it okay remember john is a good tool as well as using so on and so forth now we can ssh into the target machine so let's ssh who did whose password did we crack oh my god so this is this is why we need notes good notes now that i don't remember whose password i cracked elena 14 elena 14 which user is it i think it's the first one um, okay, so it's giving us IP address. Huh? That's good. Um, and password. Okay, let's do M Y E F I M O B S. At the rate, uh, we have to try the IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot twenty two. And the password is this. Okay. Maybe the username is wrong. I think the username is wrong. The username here is. Oh my god, the scrolling is really bad in this. EFIMOVSH. Yes, yes. Okay, anyway, let's do. Password and then 14. All right, so we have logged into this. We've completed uh, this particular machine. It was more basic password cracking and then logging into the accounts for which we cracked passwords for. All right, that said, let's go to the next one. Let's move the messenger stuff somewhere over here and uh, the notes. Um, Somewhere over. I want to. Uh, all right. Anyway, so let it be there. Let's go ahead next. You should find the IP address of uh, operation server. All right. We're going to go through. If you want help, we can you know check the manual page. Whatever operation server, do we have that in the notes? Somewhere in the notes. What is the IP address of that? I don't find any operation server. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go ahead and see what we find uh, in this. List everything in trash, list everything in downloads. Okay, there is something in downloads. List everything in documents. Uh, let's see it downloads. Let's add this file. Let's read that. Okay, this doesn't really give us uh, good information. Let's go to documents. Let's see. Save the emails. Let's read checking.yml. Okay, this is some sort of an email. Let's also look into re login and on read.yml. All right. Uh, really, I don't see anything. Maybe. Okay. What do we have? Uh, there's some weird scrolling issue for some reason.
all right so we have uh, other two files supply chains historic symbol so let's look into that mm, we don't find anything here telegram saved convo.xml so let's look into that okay this is the saved conversation from telegram glad to hear that again here in five months three percent increase Mm -hmm. okay okay nothing really in this as well oh, we didn't find anything there if you didn't find anything in this as well all right do we have the ip address of they're asking us mm -hmm. okay okay so let's look into i will read the message once again you should find the ip when you're looking for various ports okay when looking for various ports you should find the IP address of operation various ports and host on this network. Okay, so we have to look into this network and see uh, what we have. So let's run an nmap scan. Oh my God, I've been wasting a lot of time. 1.0 slash 24. Let's look into that. Um, so we are looking for operation server. So the device name operation server, if that's something that we find probably that is our target okay 22 rain drone department gnc greens set vf mm -hmm. qa safety department What is the operation server? All right. So I have no idea what the operation server at this point is. Train drone department. CJ Queens. Okay, so let's look into the notes and let's see if there is anything that we can log into from the passwords that we have see safety okay these are all the you know stuff that we already have have access to to log into uh, we have to find uh, you know which one is the operation server Right. Phone five. Okay. If you're into this computer right now, mm -hmm. let's actually move into this computer and, uh, you know, see if we can get anything out of that okay let's log into that username is demo why? Okay. That is the password. OB. Okay, it is zero, I believe. It's not zero. It's normal. Right. T E M O B O I. Oh, okay. the IP address is wrong. Uh, 
happens all right we logged into that machine documents let's look into internal that talks about okay let's actually move into this directory new creds.txt okay so we have some credentials here let's copy that add a new note m5 5p whatsapp auth telegram auth or telegram username and token and the password for this okay so that is in this new creds.txt let's move into the other one gnc accounts nothing grains rnd of uh, nothing let's actually move into that Let's move on to supplier relations. Let's read this file. Okay, men love chocolate. That everybody loves chocolate. Okay, nothing there. Let's move into downloads. Look into snack fruits.txt all right nothing there let's move on to crash and read the file uh, nothing there i'm still not finding the uh, you know um i'm still not finding um the operation servers uh you know stuff operation servers uh, ips so i will crack this password and see if that gets me somewhere let's call it pass and then john pass it gives us a password let's try and log in ssh Hopefully, believing that SSH is active in the network, I already ran an enough scan in the entire network, so it's there. D seven one one S I N A capital R. All right, we are logged in. Let's look into documents. Okay, let's move into. Documents. Read the remainder.txt. All right, so we have we need to send the other to update her username credits for the week. Okay, blah blah blah. Username is this. IP address is this. Also need to send out reminders that the credential is fixed update again. Lastly, I will need to look upon uh, symposium dates for the next year. Okay, so this is some good information let's go ahead and save that that is the reminder let's move on to saved emails let's read the email urgent.email all right it says urgent we have a serious issue that all distribution point terminals need to look at this immediately have blah 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 whatever I don't really find anything interesting in this email, at least. Okay. Mikada did not receive his username and password for this week. Anika received username and password, but they did not grant access. The reports that the health system is running extremely slowly. Okay, this could be interesting, but uh, not uh, really finding, you know, anything you know, super important here. Hope I don't miss out. 
let's move on to downloads let's move on to my logs let's move on to remote control token let's read the token abs04 token dot k okay okay this one is giving us a password hash and uh, it's also giving us this workstation for remote system control whatever so let's actually echo this password all right so let's echo this password to the new batch okay okay echo this password to pass.txt john pass.txt john is not able to find the password does rascal say anything rascal says next message I wish it would be better to ask her she shall receive. Okay, all right. So they're basically asking us, since there is no password found, John is asking us to use a word list uh, to crack the password. Based on the network chatter, this virus probably called Blackberry or Blacklist or something like that because the famine horseman was able to ride a black horse anyways very early. Okay, that is a good joke. Bikera's live server, I'm so glad whatever she has done. Right now we are no G server. Let me explain back to you your device. If you exit your terminal, you log out of the computer. Uh, this will take you to the last device you logged in from via SSH. All right. If if the last machine logged in from was your device, you only need to type exit once back to your computer. All right. But if you've been hopping between devices using SSH without exiting back, your device may need to exit a whole lot all right so that is something that we have to keep in mind for example exit mm -hmm. i understand now so let's do exit we are so every time we exit we have to look under the username and see who we are okay that's what they are also saying so go ahead type in who who you are who am i and find out who you are exit again exit again uh, exit again exit again all right so now we are into our machine so until we see our username we have to exit back right so we have exited back those insistence you need to change okay let's try this user's uh, password all right you'll need to look you you'll need to locate where your wireless exist paths how header to document so let's move into documents they have a word list for us okay we have a bunch of word list uh, this is a good word list rocky.txt is a good word list it's probably one of the fa famous word list great there's quite a few to choose let's try password met.txt so we are going to be trying this one all right so we have to give it the absolute path to to join for cracking this password this is the syntax for it you can find that in the in the manual page so let's go ahead and do um what is it okay i need to first save this password so let's go ahead and uh, copy that um let's save that password to pass.txt uh, let's find out the current working directory which is documents let's do john and let's give uh, pass.txt let's do word list I believe is the syntax word list and then given the uh, given the absolute path document slash uh, what is the file password med.txt what is the problem maybe it's asking us to give in the same fashion that uh, it's telling us let's do pass.txt okay that works but uh, when you're actually using john it doesn't matter where you put the syntax it should probably work okay we have the password now let's head back into the oji network oji network i should head back into the oji network okay let's do ssh let's elena Prevail at 
192.168.1.172 and the password is Zero seventeen. Come on, what is the problem? Connection closed by remote host. Okay, maybe um, we should log in via the OGI network, I believe. So let's go back, log into this, and from here, let's log into that, if I believe. So SSH OGI. OJ transfer Okay, OJ transfer at 191.192.1.98 Um the password is corn here We're logged into that. Now let's log into um this one. Come on, what is the problem? P R O S T Y O P R O seventeen. Okay, that's correct. The username is there anything wrong with the username? One nine two one six eight one dot one seventy two. Let's look into the IP address. 192 to 191, 192, okay. So we are in a different network, that's why we are not able to log in. So let's go back again and see where we need to log in. Um, we should probably log in into, okay. Okay, we should probably be logging into a machine in this network and then from there, we need to log into a different uh, machine. Let's go to Rascal and see if we find any machine in that network. Um, QA safety. All right, let's log into this one, right? Uh, I need to know the password. Uh, guess I forgot the password for that. I should save it. You pass right. Okay, let's save that. Let's go ahead. This is the username. So I wanted to save this username and password. Um, also the the IP address. Uh, maybe I'll just put it in the same format. It's easier for me to log in. Right, so let's go ahead, copy this. SSH that. 11 SILARNO. F config. We are in the 192168. 1.0 network and this one um, okay this particular machine is in 1.172. so let's go ahead uh, and see if i can ping that so i am able to ping that so let's go ahead and do ssh and this username and then 192.168.1.172 and uh, the password for that oh my bad this is the password for that the password is this i should save the password okay, let's save the password there all right so we have successfully logged into the box um think that was a bit confusing if you're watching but uh, it is very very normal now let's look into downloads nothing in downloads let's see if we can find anything didn't break the error it's called black something so we are looking for black something 
So let's look at the documents. Let's see the into documents. Let's see the into supply chain control. All right, so we have this. There it is, the famine horseman virus. Quickly use Xeon command to, you know, remediate that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, copy that. Let's do Xeon. Uh, whenever you do Xeon, you will mention the absolute path. At least that's what they've told us in the previous uh, missions. Let's paste that. The feature is currently supported. Supports only one directory at a, at a time. What is the problem? So essentially, there is um, essentially the, the the folder contains spaces. So let's go ahead and uh, wrap it. So the first uh, goal is at least complete. Successfully removed horseman virus. Again, we are running out of time. We only have six minutes. Neutralize the previous virus made by the file readable. Try over the file and see if you have anything valuable. So let's go ahead and uh, try and read this file. And uh, I think that machine is done as well. Okay. So that was um, quite tedious. It was not difficult, it was quite easy actually, but then um, we just have to figure out uh, a little bit of things. Probably I wasted a lot of time without reading the messages properly um, because I thought most of the messages are, you know, useless for some reason. Um, the other one that we have to look into is in terms of the network. Um, so we should make sure that, you know, we are in the correct network uh, if you wanted to log in. So I had to jump two networks to get into the get into the target device, right? So that was um, World of IQ Machine Five, Five B and Five B, the Hunger Game, and uh, the next one's Drink and Be Merry. This is the network that we have breached uh, completely. It was quite fun to play that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.